All right, guys, if you want to know the consumer sentiment out there and not listen to the mainstream propaganda, uh, basically lying about the data on how well the economy is doing, you merely, merely go and look at what people typically do. One, uh, one I was going to talk about was Disney. Disney is crashing. Look over here. We had a major drop from uh, 113 down to about 105. They just don't have the uh, park revenue anymore. A lot of problems going on with the parks down in uh, Orlando area, Polk County, the sheriff there. If you go to their site and watch his YouTube, he is always coming on arresting people that work at Disney World parks. Uh, you can guess why. Uh, Kid-related stuff, uh, criminals. It's just an interesting place. It's not a, to me, it's not a safe place based on what I see in these police reports and the people that work at Disney and also the cost alone just to spend a day at these horrible parks is just ridiculous. People can't afford it. So that was one thing I was getting on Disney. You all get it. You all understand who can go and drop. Uh, say you stay two to three days there. You're going to drop at least 10,000 bucks to stay on the resort. The food packages, all the crap. It's ridiculous. And uh, you're waiting in long lines. There are some tricks and tips for how to handle the parks. You go in um, later in the day after everyone has gotten there early. They're beat about after lunch. They're tired. The kids are screaming. People are hating life. They're sweating. Uh, and or you go in and you start at the back of the park first, that Thunder Mountain, that area for the Magic Kingdom. There are tips and tricks you can find out if you want to maximize your experience there and make it a little more enjoyable, which eh, I don't know. It's just, it's just, I don't know. It's, it's jumped the shark. So enough about that. The other one I want to talk about is Starbucks. Let's go to Starbucks, S-B-U-X. I did own both of those stocks. I own Disney because it was at one time, it was a dividend producer. I bought the actual certificates customized for my kiddos and they hang on the wall. I'll just hold those. It's just the cost of doing business. It's a, it's a share, but it's framed and it looks cute uh, as a gift. And I think I bought it through, oh my God, buy one share .com, whatever, it was years ago. I also bought Starbucks back after they had some bad news a few years ago. Oh man, maybe five years ago. Or the, oh my God, they didn't want the homeless to come in and use their bathrooms and destroy them. Oh my God. And then they got heat for that. The woke culture kicked in and it was so stupid. So, uh, of course, the mainstream uh, 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 propagandists jump on board and the stock dropped for one day. And I got in probably, I can't remember what year it was. But I definitely got in. Let's go back to two. Let's go back five years. Oh, it was way back here. I must have had it since 2019. But it was down. I mean, I I got it in the 70s, I think. And I recently sold it probably up here in the above the hundreds. But now we are. Let's go to one year. Yeah, I definitely got out in the above the hundred. And now look at this. Boom. What a drop. I mean, it was already going down 88, 90s was a night, not too bad. It was sustaining and you got a nice 3% yield holding at 90. Then all of a sudden blammo from like, let's say 90 down to holy crap. It dipped yesterday, 72. That's a, that's a mega drop. People are not going to Starbucks, man. It is expensive. I mean, I never did. I tried it for a couple of times. It made me sick. To be honest, it did not register well with me. You'd run to the toilet going, oh my God, sweet baby Jesus, make, take the wheel. <laughs> you know, it was not a good experience. Uh, I think they loaded up sometimes. You tell them what to put in it, obviously. But there was uh, sugars and stuff and whatever they put in it. I just didn't like the taste of it, of what they would produce there. I, mean, I was getting the wrong stuff. And on top of that, Oh my God, mocha, mochas are great. Uh, uh, caramel latte, blah, 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 iced coffee. You get out of there with six buck bill and you're like, what the heck? Six bucks. And uh, back in two, when was that guy elected? 2008, uh, my, this guy I worked for, a little nutty guy, eccentric, a Corley guy, man. He'd go out four times a day at least to Starbucks. So add that up over the week and the weekend. Holy crap, that's a small apartment. Uh, payment each month. Uh, I, I just couldn't justify it. People get hooked on it. And what, what hit me though, when I saw the price drop at the time, 
I may not like it, but I see all the other sheeples out there buying it every day, hooked on it. I will monetize that. And I did really well. I got out. It went up almost 90% since I bought it and before I dumped it. And as a dividend investor, I said, oh my God, I'm just going to keep getting dividends on this too. But then there's also the fine line of, well, if the stock's going to tank, do you really want to keep giving the dividends when you just gave away all those capital gains? Uh, seeing what's happening now in the economy and listening to a lot of YouTube, again, do not listen to mainstream media or CNBC or, Squab or that Kramer crazy person. They're all paid chills to uh, make you buy and hold the market. So in the end, you're left holding the bag and the, uh, the uh, big market guys are going to be laughing all the way to the bank. I don't listen to any of that crap anymore or read the uh, Seeking Alpha stuff, the Morning Star. All that stuff is propaganda trying to convince you to do something when you shouldn't. <clears throat> yeah. So anyway, I've uh, been seeing what's happening, listening to some other folks, trying to do my own cognitive thinking. I did... I said, my God, this economy cannot keep going into the election year. The only thing that is keeping the market up is the fact that it's an election year. The uh, reserve is pumping money in, keeping it, keeping the stocks up. Uh, companies are buying back their own stock. And what that's going to do is basically raise the, uh, I don't know, just make it so they can say, uh, we can keep the stock price high or at the current levels. It's almost a number. It's almost a, a, a shuffle game. They're just moving the money around by buying the stock back and they can inflate the price and keep it higher even though earnings are down. So there's stuff like that going on. Seeing all that, seeing how people are not buying stuff, people are not going to Disney for, well, for various reasons other than cost, but cost is a big factor as well. People aren't buying coffee. People aren't going to fast food. Because why go to fast food? It costs 30 bucks. Well, you can probably go to, uh, let's say, Jersey Mike's or Subway, a uh, sub, a sandwich, and chips. You're probably going to be oh, close to 20 bucks. Holy schmackaroos. That's a lot of money. Down where I'm at, food trucks are good, popular. It's fresh. Uh, it's not that expensive, and it's very good. Uh, that seems to be the big things where I'm at. Uh, fast food. Ugh. And then you eat that crap again. You don't know what you're getting. Uh, what they did to the food, you just don't know, and you might you you might want to be near a toilet near you know once you eat or drink some of this stuff because it may not agree with you. So that's always a concern, man. Uh, so with Starbucks, I see nobody is buying anymore. Uh, kids seem to be hooked on it, but again, once you get your bill and over a month, you're gonna say, "Holy crap! I just spent five hundred bucks on coffee." What do I do? Well, what do I do? I go to the uh, grocery store and uh, I was buying the stuff on sale, the local grocery brand and all this stuff. And it was all right. I'd make my own coffee at home. And again, that's the whole debate. You're not going to get rich making your own coffee, but you're not going to go broke either by spending 300 bucks. I mean, if you go out and spend 300 bucks a month on coffee at Starbucks, that's not going to help your case. I'd rather make my own, put it in a um, Yeti cup and I'm off to the races. So I would go. And I did say, okay, listen, if I'm going to do this, and I've been doing it for years now, uh, is I'm going to go at least buy the ground. I used to get the beans, but then I got sick of all the work. I make it easy as possible. I go buy now. The, I do buy the Starbucks breakfast blend. I think I do like that. It's a premium price. That I like. I don't like what they make in the store for some reason. And I used to buy the cheaper brands, the, the one-off brands from uh, Ethiopia, the stuff you see in the grocery store, trying to look on the low shelf, the high shelf, uh, Pete's and all this crap. I didn't really like some of the stuff. And I just found, all right, even um, Dunkin' Donuts was okay. But I found Starbucks was the, uh, for me, was the better tasting. I don't put anything in it. I, I ice it. I brew it. with the, It's already ground up. Put it on some ice, throw it in a Yeti, I'm good. No milk, no sugar, because what's the point? I don't want to pound that stuff down. And I think that's what I was doing at the Dunkin' Donuts. You, coffee's good, and I figure out, well, they're putting in milk, and they're putting in tons of sugar. It's like, oh, my God, it's a liquid candy bar, like a soda. So, again, I don't. I just, I wish I could kick, kick the uh, coffee thing, but I have one a day in a Yeti, and that's good enough. And, again, I buy the premium Starbucks ground coffee at the grocery store and why is that i don't want to stand you know i don't want to go to the grocery thing and wait in line you get kind of these baristas running around crazy uh they're not happy working there and uh, you're dealing with other people and uh as you get older you do not want to be around other people it's just annoying <laughs> so here i went to um 
I went to the Starbucks website. They don't post their prices. I wonder why. But I went to Uber Eats to find out what the heck does this crap cost if I was going to buy it. All right, here I'm out in Key West today. So we got uh, ice brown coffee, seven bucks. Chocolate croissant is five bucks. I swear to God, I just bought croissants at the grocery store. I think I got 10 of them for maybe six bucks. So come on, look at the inflation there. Latte, six bucks. Everything is north of five dollars. I'm not sure if this is Uber Eats price. It might be, but even still, you're still if you go to the store, you're gonna pay above five bucks. Look at this, and people are using Uber Eats. Look at this. Cold brew coffee, five seventy-five. I think the bag of ground Starbucks breakfast blend I paid for was maybe uh, nine bucks. And that's gonna last me a month. <laughs> oh my god. Again, you're not gonna get rich by not paying, you know, but again, it's how much do you wanna piss away your hard-earned money on a stupid coffee that is overpriced and it's gonna make you run to the bathroom? I mean, come on. Uh, ice black tea is four bucks, uh, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's just insane. Look at the prices on this. Water is four bucks, just cause it's got a label on it and it's probably filled from a spigot. Uh, let's see, plus it's in one of these uh, plastic bottles that. Oh, what is that chemical? It's, it's leaking into the water. So that's not good for you. Uh, let's see. Hot breakfast, six ninety five. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so easy to make this in the morning or make them at night, put them in the fridge and just heat them up. Man, you, you're way ahead of the game. I mean, so add this seven bucks plus a seven buck coffee. You're already at 14 bucks. Add tax, 15 bucks. You know what I mean? How insane is this? I just think people have had enough of waiting in line. Uh, you go to a Starbucks now. Uh, again, you're dealing with Uber Eats menu orders. You're dealing with people, uh, like I said, doing the mobile orders, getting delivered for Uber Eats. So you have to wait. Even if you're physically in the store, you're probably the uh, third class citizen because you also have the driving people waiting in line. So you're, you're at the bottom of the pool and the experience sucks. You're just a cattle in line. So what I think I'm, I see happening is people going to the local a mom and pa or even just the smaller startup coffee shops that have a little more, uh, what do you call it, environment to them, culture, comfort, sit down someplace. Uh, I remember there used to be some Starbucks, you had a little fire pit, you sit down by it. I think those are, they're gone. They're just trying to do masses, mass numbers. And it's starting to hurt their, uh, hurt their uh, obviously their revenue. And people are going to the local shops. And down where I'm at, there's a lot of local shops. Uh, you get Cuban coffee, you get whatever if you want to get jolted into a, the next atmosphere, you know, next planet, because that stuff is just all caffeine. It's just a shot of espresso, pretty much. <laughs> to me, I don't know. I, I, I had it once and that was it. Uh, but yeah, I think the local shops are, are booming. People like the, to support local now. Uh, maybe there's a little corporate pushback. And uh, you can go into a local shop and maybe spend four to five bucks. And it's good. You got a nice atmosphere. You can sit down, and uh, yeah, that's 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 what I think is going on. In addition, to just the pricing, people don't have the money anymore because gas is four bucks a gallon. Higher in uh, California, it's like seven bucks a gallon. You know why? You get a one-party state. Uh, who's running that show and who agrees to this? I have no idea. I mean, does anybody check who's passing this crap and making all the taxes? You guys have got to stand up and fight the fight this crap in California. I lived there for a little bit, and I realized that people have no power at all, even voting on amendments and uh, propositions. It's all a placebo to make you feel like you're making a difference. But at some point, you can only push the people so much, and uh, it's just crazy out there. I don't know how people can afford to live in California. But I think the worst state is Maryland. Their taxation is horrible. If you look at what they're taxing you on, down to the county regional rain tax area, they get you state, local, uh, county, uh, rain tax, and probably some other greeny crap in there and some welfare stuff to help the people that uh, just want to stay home and collect welfare. It's uh, the 95 corridor. Yeah, you're, all of Maryland is supporting the 95 corridor, PG County, and Balmer. Uh, it's a horrible, horrible state. And uh, it, get out. There's only one employer there now. It's at the Fort Meade area. It's a government agency. And that's it. Black & Decker, all the big manufacturers have bailed on Maryland. A oh, horrible state. Horrible, horrible. Uh, yeah. Do your, and you have a high state withholding tax as well.
if to take out of your income. You know, you got to pay your federal taxes. In addition, you got to pay Annapolis their silver shekels as well. Yeah, it's not a good state. So anyway, Starbucks is tanking stock wise. And I just think people are not eating out as much. I have a big fight with the family all the time. You guys have got to stop eating out. It's adding up. And then you add in a tip. It's ridiculous. You can't afford to keep eating out. Plus, it's not really healthy. Uh, one guy I worked with at this other building, these guys would just eat out every freaking day at lunch. I'm like, how can you afford that? And why do you want to go out? Uh, I just bring a sandwich and get the hell out of work early because I, I just bust through work. You know, I don't want to go out and waste an hour. But apparently eating out, he, it was so much salt content in the food that they make at these restaurants. His body was shutting down. He had to go to the hospital. Plus, you get fat and everything. And he was fat boy. Uh, yeah, it's not good. Uh, just people got to wise up. You can live not minimalist mode, but you can live wisely and you can make your stuff at home and your coffees and, and just be head of the game and not deal with the stress and to empty your wallet. Uh, yeah, a dollar today is probably worth 25 cents. I know it's just inflation is destroying everything. Uh, yeah, if you watch the mainstream news, you think everything's uh, unicorns and rainbows and happy times. It is not. People cannot afford certain things. Uh, the rift between the wealthy and the poor has increased. All right, we're 16 minutes in. That's all I wanted to say. What do you think? Do you guys go out to Starbucks yet? Are you eating out? I mean, this is crazy. I know this is Uber Eats page, but this is this is a freaking lemonade. Eight bucks. Are we in like the year 2030? Holy schmackaronis. And you know what? The other thing I'll say is wages are not keeping up with inflation by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, some people are still making whatever. They're, they're raising, they're, oh, what do you call it? Their wages, their salaries have not gone up to match this craziness out there. The government got to stop spending. Yeah. And I always say, ask people to see if they know how the economy works and how this whole crazy system works is if the government can just print money, why do we have a debt? Why are we in debt? Why is the country in debt? Look that up. Get back to me, post in the comments below, answer that question to understand how the monetary system works, the part the Fed plays, and the printing of money, bonds, and all that stuff, and it may enlighten you. It may scare, scare you as well, but all right, on that note, I'm out. Go get a coffee. <laughs> no. All right, thanks for watching.